Alright, this is my 1979 Series 3 Land Rover Lightweight Air Portable. It's called the Air Portable because this vehicle was a military vehicle as I was mentioning. Uh, it was transported often behind, uh, via helicopter via these four um, uh, shackles behind enemy lines. I, un I understand the uh, paratroopers particularly like this vehicle. Let's talk about some of the things I've done in the vehicle over the years. Uh, I've went and galvanized a whole bunch of stuff because I just don't like rust. So let's talk about it. Um, engine hand crank, uh, bonnet uh, support rods, bonnet, new grille, bumper, bumperettes, uh, lots of hardware. Sorry, there's more. Uh, there's the uh, rad overflow, it's been galvanized. Same with the, uh, uh, the air, uh, air cleaner support and uh, retention devices here. Um, more brackets that support the bonnet and the footman loops, as well as more brackets that. Uh, position the uh, spare tire. Um, inside we've uh, governized the uh, um, battery box and lid as well as uh, this guy between the engine uh, behind the uh, transmission. Um, uh, all five wheels, right? All five wheels here. They've all been galvanized. Um, the roll bars and uh, hoods, hood sticks, they've all been galvanized. Um, here again in the bed, footman loops all the way around, they've all been galvanized. Um, same with the bed, I've uh, taken all these out and uh, these as well, riveted them back in after I got those galvanized as well. Um, I've also added provisions here for uh, trailering. Let's talk about uh, the brakes here for a second. What I have done is uh, I redid all the brakes. I replaced the master cylinder and uh, and the soft rubber lines and some of the hard lines in the rear, and uh, um, and all the rubber seals inside the uh, brakes and and redid the brakes totally. Now since day one, I converted it all to silicone. Silicone is better because uh, what it does is it uh, does absorb moisture, and uh, when your brakes get up to temperature. It boils if there is moisture and you get air bubbles. That's when you get a soft, spongy brake pedal. Uh, what else can we talk about here? Um, I've installed 750 tires on. Uh, tires are not bad. Um, the other good thing here is uh, all four uh, frame bushings. I replaced all the frame rubber bushings with new ones. Cut the old ones out and put these ones in. New shocks. Um, the other good thing that you guys who off-road will like, uh, it's got um, upgraded uh, Rocky Mountain parabolic suspension. These are parabolics, three leafs on the rear and two leaves on the front. These are leaf springs, not coil springs like uh, other newer modern vehicles. Um, it's got some, you've got uh, some more uh, um, lockable storage in here. I can show you how that works in pictures. Basically you just remove that and open it up and there you go, more stuff inside. Um, I added provisions for trailering here, so you've got um, electricals uh, here in the engine. Let's talk about that for a sec. I've added a spin-on oil filter, so you can use uh, Fram, commonly available Fram spin-on oil filters. Uh, all four engine mounts have been replaced, front and rear. Um, so there's two in the front and two in the rear by the transmission. Upgraded all the electricals, so new wiring. Uh, horns, new lots and lots of goodies here. I custom made this uh, uh, heater. It's a 12 volt heater which I obtained and then made this whole box. Here's the input and on the inside of it it goes to this box in the base here which is way more powerful than what it used to have. So it's got this guy and again your distribution stuff in here. Let's talk more. Uh, it's this, car's, this vehicle's got uh, dual fuel tanks you fill up from underneath the seat, and here's a switchover valve here. Uh, let's go to the front here again. Uh, the, the let's talk about that for a sec too as well. The um, basically you can take off the uh, top of the door frame here. You take this off, just pull it off, and it comes off. Same with this guy. Door comes off, and literally <laughs> all you can have all both doors off in less than a minute. Um, what else have we done here? Uh, like I said, new electricals. Um, I converted the, uh, I added a, this uh, 
this is a GM commonly available GM 10 SI uh, alternator this one's a 90 amp one you can get those even in forklifts um, like a like a Yale or a, you know one of the other American ones like uh, uh, Clark um, I guess that they're commonly available and engine rebuilders you know they're you can get them rebuilt uh, very easily I've even got a spare for you um, what else we got here so again new electricals um, I put uh, halogen headlights in these guys as halogen brighter but all I can think of this guy's got uh, 43,367 43, miles on the uh, odometer here. It's, it is in miles. And uh, I don't know if you know much about Landovers, but uh, you know you got vents in the front. You can take the uh, you can take the whole all of the uh, hood sticks off and all the doors off. You've seen in my pictures, and then. Uh, can really drive around with a vehicle that's this tall. <laughs> Again, the bonnet comes off in literally a you know less than a minute, like 10 seconds. So uh, what else can I show you here? It's basically, all I can think of right now. Basically, all I can think of right now. You. Uh, Obviously this guy comes out as well as this and got yourself a load bed and again I've uh, I've showed you all the stuff I've galvanized but this is basically what it looks like without it you can see that there I'll pull that right out I guess might as well anyways that's my vehicle <laughs>